a chance to chat with Coach Roberts and Coach Graves, and Coach Roberts says, man, her team really wants to beat this team for so many reasons. Well, and Lynn Roberts has yet to have a win against this Oregon program. Rogers skips it across, quick passing by Oregon, and nothing but net, Sydney Parrish. Yeah, both of these teams would love to have a first round bye in the tournament, get that extra day of some rest. Quick pass, swish, Sydney Parrish. She's the only player that will not be back for this Oregon team. They're a very young group. I mean, you kind of forget about the youth on this team. I was just gonna say that. Utes down by 13 at one time in this game. They've cut it to seven. Ah, uh, there's Che inside, so much length and using her body at 6'8 out of Calgary, Alberta. Pow Pow. Fakes high, goes right, that's good. Instead of trying some sort of combination move, looking for the shot herself, she waited for Johnson. Parrish, oh, excellent ball fake, just those little things. As you know, she can stick the three, the defense took a chance out on her. Full court pressure by Oregon. See if Gilton can get some others involved. They hand it to Johnson, she's the leading scorer so far. Banks it up good, the and one opportunity. Those kind of second chance opportunities when you're trying to cut into this deficit against a very, very sound Oregon program. You can't miss rebounds. You sure can. Oh, another three ball. Love the aggressiveness by Sabli, even though she's got the three fouls. Well, they need it from her still. Johnson, the rattler behind the arc. So finally capitalizing and taking advantage. Sabli in the high post, the kick out to Pow Pow. And that's a much needed field goal for the Ducks. So now, 6 0 Oregon run. We're kind of flipping. Parrish in the gap, shows the three, gets it. Far, far off in the distance of scoring. Yeah, definitely so. So, plenty of time in this one. Oregon, they've led the entire way, and Rodgers adds to the lead. But Prince was right there waiting. Sobley, as Maxwell tried to draw the offensive foul. And they struggled scoring late, did the Utes. And I think the defense for Oregon kicked itself back up again as well as Neepkins. I was trying to bring rain. So that's a, that's a great. Continuing to hit the free throws, Rogers has 13 points. And that is going to do it for the Utes.